So the first thing I want to do is to create a library. And to do that, we go File, New, Library. Then we're going to choose what we want to call our library. In this case, I want to call it Black Necklace PTS and save that. And there we go, we have a new library. So in our browser over here, we can see we have our library, Black Necklace Behind the Scenes, which has uh, one event in it already. By default, Final Cut creates an event named with the date uh, that you created the library. You can see that's empty. And you've also got a few smart collections. These are the little search filters that uh, Final Cut includes by default. If I select the library and come over to the inspector, you can see there are some options available to us, mainly about where we want to store uh, the media for our project. I'm not going to cover this in too much detail here. Uh, hopefully I can come to that later on. So now that we've created our project, we want to start importing media. And before we do, I'm just going to rename my event behind the scenes, just to make it clearer. Um, it wasn't shot on the, the date it gave me there, so it's just nicer to call it that. And then I'm going to click Import Media. In the left-hand co uh, column of the importer here, you have the list of sources. So at the top, you have cameras, uh, in this case, the built-in FaceTime camera. If you had anything else plugged in, it would show up there. Also, if you had an SD card plugged in, you would see it appear here. Then underneath we have devices, so these are the different hard disks that are attached to the computer. And then favourites, so you can um, store locations here as favourites. In this case I have my downloads folder, because often I'm downloading media to add to my project. Now the source media for this um, behind the scenes video is uh, two SD cards from two cameras. Now I've already backed up the SD cards to the computer, so I'm not actually going to directly copy the files from the SD cards, but the process is basically the same. So I'm going to come to where the SD cards are copied to. In this case, it's these two folders, um, interviews and BTS. So if I double click interviews, you'll see that Final Cut understands that this is a collection of media from an SD card. And so instead of showing me a list of files, it's um, giving me the previews for the videos themselves. So you can see here I have six interviews with the cast and crew of the film. Now if I wanted to, I could just select one to import. I could select a selection of them, or I can do Command A and select all of them to import. Now before we import, there are some options here on the right hand side, including do we want to add them to an existing event, like my behind the scenes folder, or create a new one. In this case, I'm just going to add it to the existing event. Do we want to physically copy the files to the library or leave them where they are? In this case, we don't have an option because we're copying the files from the camera. Do we want to automatically assign any keywords? Do we want to assign audio roles? You see here we have an option to do it automatically or choose dialog effects music. We'll come to that later. Transcoding here lets us say to Final Cut, do we want to create optimized or proxy media? So this would be ProRes 422 and this would be uh, ProRes Proxy. Now we'll cover that in a more advanced tutorial later down the line but that's where the options are while you're importing. And you can also have Final Cut analyze and fix uh, a number of uh, common issues with the video. So you can see here, um, check to see if the color's bad. Um, you can have it find people in the video. You can have it analyze and fix audio problems. You can have it separate the audio out and you can also have it remove silent channels and this option here close window after starting import basically that just means if you're going to be importing multiple things you might want to leave that unchecked so that you don't have to keep opening the import window uh, in this case I'll check it just so that you see what happens I'll select all my media files and I'll click import all so you see the the six clips have now appeared in Final Cut Pro 10 uh, with these little progress icons on them. Uh, that shows you how much of the file has been copied into the library. So it gives you an idea of how long it's going to take. We can also click the icon up here to see the background tasks window. And if I open up importing media, you can see a progress bar for how Final Cut's getting on with importing that media. Now, the good thing is we don't have to wait for it to import before we can start editing. We can actually skim through the project now um, and begin editing if we wanted to. But in this case, we still have some more media to import. 
So before I start dealing with that, I'm going to kind of come back. So the import options available up here or command I to open the window again. I'm going to come back to my folder and I'm going to select BTS001, double click it. So you can see on this camera, um, we have different clips uh, that were taken during the uh, production. So these are clips of the cast and crew behind the scenes. Again, I just want to import all of those. So we do command A and uh, import selected. So now you can see that all my clips are inside Final Cut Pro 10. I skipped ahead a bit to uh, make sure they all finish importing so that we could uh, get started. So you can see now the um, little clock, clock icon is not there. And uh, up at the top, we've got a nice little uh, check mark in our um, background tasks icon. Thank you very much for watching. The next video in the series, I'll be looking at organizing your media.